Hello, my beautiful girls. Welcome in. I am so, so happy to have you here. Today, I am going to teach you how to find your purpose. There is a new level of confidence that comes when you find your purpose and you're truly living aligned to that version of yourself that is fully engaging with her passion and feeling so on fire because she is in line with her purpose. So let's talk about how to find out what that is today. All of my girls who are watching live, welcome. I am so happy that you're here. I'm gonna take all of your questions at the end. And this video is extra special today because I will be announcing the giveaway Giveaway winner. I did my first giveaway. I'm giving away my Master Your Feminine Energy course to one girl and I will announce your name as soon as we get through this topic. So all of my girls, welcome. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first point here, when it comes to finding your purpose, I think there's a few reasons why most of us are blocked from doing this. Number one is because we don't know what our purpose is. That is okay if you don't know. But what I do want to tell you is that it's probably right in front of you. And I'm a feminine energy and inner work coach. When a lot of the women that I work with are trying to find their purpose and their passion, I can see it so clearly. But for some reason, they can't. And this is how most of us live today. So I want to kind of open up your eyes so that you can find your purpose. Like I said, there is a new level of confidence that you have when you are living in your purpose. Another major reason that we aren't living in our purpose is because we fear change. We fear other people's opinions and we fear changing our identities. We'll talk about why that is too. And then the last major reason that I wrote down is because sometimes we ignore the sign when it is right in front of us. We ignore all the signs pointing that yes, this is our purpose. I promise you, when you live in your purpose, your life just becomes so much better. How you live your dream life is you live in your purpose. So here's how you're going to learn what that is. Number one, knowing what your purpose is. So when it comes to knowing what your purpose is, there's two main things that are going to point you in that direction. Number one, and I know that this is going to sound painful to hear, but your pain is going to reveal your purpose. I swear I would never be here with you right now. I would never be running my businesses, doing what I'm doing, teaching about feminine energy, running a clothing line, if I did not experience pain. It is because of the way that I was raised, the childhood trauma that I had, the relationship endings that I had, that I am here with you now. I am telling you, whatever you are going through, when you have that healing journey, your life just takes off. That is why every single girl, when she goes through a breakup, I just look at her and I think, your life is about to change. It is going to elevate and get so much better. Whatever you are going through, whether it was abuse, maybe you had a really, really hard upbringing, maybe you just got out of a relationship, or maybe you're feeling stuck in life, that pain is good. It might not feel like it right now, but I promise you there is so much purpose in your pain. Personally for me, I grew up in a childhood where I thought it was great, but looking back, it was not. I had a lot of trauma. I had a lot of narcissistic abuse that I experienced. And when I discovered this and I kind of had that wake up call, oh, this is why I'm a people pleaser. This is why I have an anxious attachment style. This is why I struggle with low self-worth and low self-esteem. When I had this wake up call years ago, I started my healing journey and it just completely took off from there. I started learning, doing inner work, and healing myself. And because I became so passionate, I realized, wow, my life can change. Wow, I can feel so good about myself and look at everything I'm attracting. Now that I'm healing through this pain, I began living in my purpose. I became obsessed with that healing journey. And as a result, I healed myself. And now I'm here helping you. This is my purpose. It is teaching you how to heal and become that best version of yourself. I never thought that I would be empowering women and living in my purpose, but that is what it is. So for you, whatever your healing journey is revealing to you, there is something behind that that is leading you to your purpose. Another part that happened for me was relationships ending, romantic relationships, friendships, every single heartbreak that I have experienced has massively changed my life for the better. So of course those moments when it's actually happening, you might not feel it, but I promise you there is a purpose in it. Look and see what is the inner work that is being revealed to you. What did you learn about yourself when that relationship ended? When you learn to heal those parts of yourself, you will see every other area of your life change. Your finances, the new relationships that you attract, your family dynamics. Something else that I put a note of here is when you're finding out what is your purpose, one of the easiest ways that you can do that is look at what you used to do when you were a kid 
and this is some inner child work that we're gonna do right now. So when you think back to what it was that made you feel so alive and excited when you were a kid, that is your purpose. Maybe you're saying, well, I used to play with trains, or I used to play with Barbies, or I used to draw designs. Yes, hold on to that. Really sit and think, what was it that made me feel so alive and excited? The people that are living their best life, that are fully in line with their purpose, they are in touch with their inner child. All of us have that inner child that is just knocking at the door saying, please let me live, let me be free. I wanna play and explore in the world. That is what you do to live in your purpose. You ask your inner child, what is it that fulfills us? What makes us happy? And I kind of had this realization a few months ago when I was working on my clothing business and I own a loungewear, uh, a loungewear brand for women called Celista Wear. And when I was opening the store, I thought, you know what, I want to start this brand because we are all sitting around through this pandemic feeling so low and tired and not beautiful, not sexy anymore. So I started a loungewear brand that could help women feel sexy and feel comfy at the same time. And when I was journaling and thinking back, what did I used to do as a kid that I loved? I remembered something. I used to draw designs on paper all the time of fashion and clothing. And my mom reminded me of this recently. She said, what happened to all those designs that you made when you were a kid, when you wanted to create clothing pieces? It was like a light bulb moment for me. You have things that you used to do when you were a kid that you can do now and take to a whole other level. For me, I turned that passion into a business. It wasn't even on purpose, it just happened as I continued to do inner work and heal myself. For you, what is it that lights you up when you think about being a kid? Your inner child is still inside of you. The more that you connect to it, the better your life is going to be. That is why I'm so passionate too about teaching feminine energy. All that feminine energy is, is you connecting back to your body and living as the most authentic, powerful, alive version of yourself. You have to be able to be connected to your inner child if you want to do that. That is why I can look at a woman and tell if she's in her feminine energy. She's living in her purpose and she's so full of life. I highly recommend that you start your feminine energy journey if you want to live that upgraded version of your life. You can check out my course, Master Your Feminine Energy, which a lot of you have been joining recently. I'm so, so happy to have you. Or you can start reading books, doing your inner work, searching feminine energy content on YouTube and TikTok. There's so much free information out there. My course, Master Your Feminine Energy, is one of the best places that you can start. I've been studying feminine energy for years and years, and everything that I have learned for myself, I have put into this course for you. If you want to join it, I highly recommend you join before April 21st because I'm doing a limited time sale to celebrate 100,000 of you here on YouTube. The code is in the description for you if you would like to join. Okay, so the next place here that we're going to talk about is the idea of fearing change and fearing other people's opinions. This is one of the biggest blocks stopping you from living in your purpose. So if you've taken my course too, you probably are very, very familiar with what I'm about to tell you. Your body fears changing its identity. The greatest need that we have as humans is the need to survive. Anything that threatens that need threatens our survival as humans. So when we think about changing who we are or switching careers or finally aligning with our purpose, our body goes into that mode of, no, this is scary because it can risk our survival. Any time that you think about changing your identity, your body believes it's risking its survival. We use 5% of our human or 5% of our brain as humans. What you want to do is get outside of that. You want to go deeper. Use the part of your brain that is unconscious and really learn to rewire it. To say, you know what? I don't need to fear change. I can change my identity and still survive. There is a whole lesson just on how to rewire your brain and change your DNA, change your coding in my Master Your Feminine Energy course. If you have already taken the course, I recommend that you watch that again because it's so important. If you feel that you struggle with changing your identity or switching a part of yourself, trying something new, you have to go deeper and learn to rewire your brain. When we think about changing our personality, such as if we are a nice girl and we want to be more of the baddie, or let's say that we are broke and we want to be more financially free. There is a change that is going to have to happen deeper than what you are currently operating at with your brain power. 
So I could, t I could literally talk about this all day, how to rewire your brain to set you up for success, to help you change your life. That is why I've created my course too, so that I could just put all of this in there for you and not take all of your time. Something else that I put here, when you are thinking about changing your life and really aligning with your purpose, yes, it is scary. And a huge reason for that is because we fear other people's opinions. Did you know that you have a choice? You are either deciding I'm going to choose my life or other people are going to choose my life. If you are not living in your purpose because you are scared of what other people are going to say, you are letting other people control your life. You have to decide to say, no, I'm going to take that power back. Other people's opinions of me do not matter. Here's the harsh truth, and I say this with love. People do not care about you as much as you think. You are giving people way too much power if you consider them with every choice that you make. And people are in their own world. They don't care about us. Everyone is trying to live their best life. You get to live your best life by removing the judgment of other people's opinions. They are not going to care if you all of a sudden switch careers and maybe you have a really, really amazing corporate job, but you want to open up a bakery or you want to be a writer or you want to follow a passion that has nothing to do with what you're currently doing and you are scared people will judge you. That is normal. What you have to do is look at everyone who is successful and see that they chose, I get to live my dream life rather than let other people decide what my life is going to look like. Even for me, when I started posting content online, I had a lot of people making fun of me or saying, Alexis, I saw your TikToks. Oh, it's so cute that you're doing this. And then I turned it into a six figure business. You don't have to prove to people before you do something. You just have to show up, decide I'm going to do this. This feels good for my body and do it. And guess what always happens? Those same people that would judge you or make fun of you, they end up respecting you and becoming your biggest fans later. So do it anyway, even if you are scared of other people's opinions. Remember, you are either deciding what your life looks like or letting other people decide for you. In my recent YouTube video, how to tell your intuition versus your anxiety. One of the major points that I talk about is not going to other people for answers. When you are trying to decide what your purpose is, you don't need to go to other people to figure that out. You don't need to sit with someone and get their advice, get their opinions. Your body knows the answer. That is why I swear being in your feminine energy is a key for everything to really feel alive and live your dream life. Your body knows the answer. You know what your purpose is. Maybe you just can't see it yet. The more you connect to your body, the easier and the more clear it's going to become for you. That leads me to the next point that I wrote down ignoring the signs that are right in front of you. So like I said, when I sit down with my clients, I'm a feminine energy and inner work coach and finding your passion, finding your purpose is something that we talk about a lot. I have a lot of girls who want to be content creators and coaches and business owners, but they're stuck on, well, what do I talk about online or what do I sell? What I will usually ask them is, what do you use your free time learning? So now I'm asking you, if you scroll on your TikTok for you page, if you think back to the recent podcast or book that you were listening to or reading, what was it talking about? Your body is screaming to you, this is what we love, this is what lights us up. Whatever you are craving to learn and craving to become invested in, that probably has something to do with your purpose. I used to be so blind to this. I would read so many books years and years ago about inner work and healing, how to heal from childhood trauma, how to build your self-worth, how to set boundaries, how to connect deeper to your intuition. I loved and was so obsessed with this content. And then I realized, you know what? Let me start teaching it. All of this that I've absorbed, I love it. I'm so passionate about it. It just seemed to flow out of me when I would talk about it. It is going to be the same for you. If you open yourself up to teaching others and to seeing where everything that you love could go, you are going to become more clear with what your purpose is. And something that I want to add too is that it doesn't have to attract money. A lot of people, they believe that living in your purpose means finding your dream career. That could be a part of it, but it doesn't have to be everything. Living in your purpose could be married to the love of your life, raising a family, and so extremely full of love and gratitude. That could be your purpose. Whatever your purpose is, what I find is that it usually attracts money somehow. When I started posting on TikTok and YouTube, I did not go into it thinking, I want to attract money. I went into it thinking, I have so much filled inside of me that I just want to share with others. 
dollars and money naturally followed and what's so amazing about this I don't want to make this too much about money that'll have to be a whole other video but what's so amazing is it's so easy to attract money when you are living in your purpose it's so easy it's just so much comes more than you could ever do working at a job that you did not enjoy working and doing something and fighting so hard for it I work less than four hours a day. I do what I love and money comes so easily. My friends who are entrepreneurs and business owners and fully aligned with their purpose, they attract so much money. It's it's so, oh, I can't even just describe how it is. It's almost like an accident how you attract it, but it's a natural result that happens. Another point that I just realized too, if you want to live in your purpose, surround yourself with other people who are living in their purpose. You become what you are surrounded by. None of my girlfriends, my close girlfriends, are clueless to what their purpose is. Every single close friend that I have, I have about five close girlfriends, they are all living and so on fire for their purpose. They know what it is and they're connected to it. And their purpose is always changing and evolving. That is the type of woman that you want to surround yourself with. But you have to become that first if you want to attract her. One of my favorite quotes, and this just opened my eyes so much, it's by Jay Shetty. I love Jay Shetty. He owns the number one mental health podcast in the world. Jay Shetty says, if you do what you love and it makes you happy, and you do what you love and it makes other people happy, you have found your purpose. So if you want to learn more about his work, I recommend you check out his podcast, literally called On Purpose. It is so, so amazing, especially if you are on your inner work journey. Okay, so how does it feel in your body when you are living in your purpose? How it feels is that your body feels alive. You feel so naturally energized. You feel excited, lit up. Things just seem to flow so easily. You're not putting in a lot of hard work or stress to it. It just seems to flow. And again, it fills you up and it makes you happy. That is how your feminine energy feels. And the deeper that you connect to your feminine energy, the deeper you connect to your purpose. I could just talk about this topic all day with you girls, but now it is time to answer some of your questions. But before we do that, I am going to announce the giveaway winner. So again, my girls, I am just blown away with gratitude and love. Thank you, thank you so much for every single one of you that is here. We are celebrating 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. It is just so amazing to me. I started posting this content about six months ago and already there are so many of us in this community together. I am happy to have you here. I am honored to be your teacher, your big sister, your guide. I love every single one of you. Thank you. Thank you. I cannot wait to continue growing. My girls, the messages that you girls have been sending me have blown me away. How amazing and inspired all of you are. How many changes you've had in your relationships, in your health, in your career, in your life. I oh it just feels I I show up here and I teach and I talk about this but when you girls send me the message of how your life is actually changing it just fills me up so so much please keep sending the messages I love them I appreciate them so much and I'm so happy I'm so proud of every single one of you it was so hard to pick for this giveaway it was so so hard but the woman that I picked, and I will send you a message too in case you're not on this live stream or watching, it is at the Desi Mommy. So that's T H E D E S I M A M I on Instagram. I'm gonna send you my course for free. I'm so excited to have you join. Thank you so much for the message that you shared about your inner work journey. It really, really touched me. Every single one of your guys' messages really, really touched my heart. I'm so proud of you. And remember, my girls, my course is on sale. I rarely do sales. It is on sale until April 21st. If you want to join, now is the time to do it. It is the best place to start your inner work and feminine energy journey. No matter what level you are at, everything I've learned from my years of life, I have put into this course. And a lot of you girls have signed up for the course, I think more than ever this past week. Make sure that you join the Facebook group so that we can talk. It's your safe place to connect with other women, to ask questions, to share about your journey. Definitely, definitely make sure that you are in that Facebook group. The instructions for that are in the very, very last module of the course. Okay, now my girls, I'm gonna take some of your questions and chat with you for a bit. I love you. Oh, I love you, Amy. Thank you. Yes, you girls are so welcome. 
How do I start shadow work? Pen and pencil, how do I know I'm doing it right? Leslie, great question girl. And in the course, I have so many shadow work prompts for you. That is what I'm gonna recommend for you, is that you look up specific prompts to help guide your shadow work. The best place that you can find these prompts is Pinterest. So what I recommend is that you sit down, give yourself a specific amount of time, and allow yourself to just journal. Allow any thoughts to flow, and really allow your body to be open and present. Allow your body that safe place to release any emotions that come up and just free write anything that comes to your mind. What you want to do is break free of the idea that there has to be structure, that there has to be a specific way for you to do shadow work. There is no specific way. All that shadow work is, is you facing that shadow side of yourself, the side of yourself that has been repressed, that we try to hide, that we try to run away from, that doesn't feel good for us. You go and tell yourself that shadow side, come out, it is safe, I'm here to support you, I love you. Any part of you that you're scared to embrace, that is considered your shadow side. Let it come out, let it be free. That is how you're going to be in your divine feminine energy. You're balanced in your life. And that's the true definition of self-love. It's loving every single part of yourself. Leslie, I'm so proud of you, girl, that you're doing shadow work. That is absolutely amazing. How to know your worth in your feminine energy. How you know your worth is you recognize your talents and your gifts and your uniqueness and you allow those to flourish. You connect deep to your body and give yourself that safe place to say, I get to show up, I get to live in my purpose, I get to be free, I get to play and have fun in life and naturally start attracting amazing people and opportunities as a result. You knowing your, your worth begins with you deciding it is worth it for me to heal. I am going to allow my body to grow. I am going to invest in my personal development, in my inner work. The more that you nourish and take care of your body and your soul, the more that your self-worth grows. How you can tell if you have high self-worth is look at the people and opportunities that you are attracting. They are going to be a direct reflection of you. If you are attracting high quality people and opportunities, people that have lots of high self-worth themselves, opportunities that seem to come very easy for you, that fill you up and are so magnetic, you know that you have a high level of self-worth. Thank you, Angel. Yes, you're welcome. Oh my girls, I love you guys so much. I think I've told you this before, but I've always wanted more sisters and now it feels like I have that. It's just the most amazing community here. I really feel that I have the best subscriber or the best subscribers out of anyone on YouTube. I feel so so lucky to have you girls here. What does intuition feel like? So Sab, I want to answer this question for you fully, but the best place I can answer this for you is in a YouTube video that I already posted. It's two videos before this called How to Tell the Difference Between Intuition and Anxiety. How to detach from the idea that something new you start has to make money or be a success. Hmm. So how you change that idea is you def or you decide that what is successful for you is what fills you up you change your perspective of what it means to be successful. You are successful when you are aligned with your purpose. So when you wake up and you genuinely love your life, you love what you are doing. Again, that quote that I said, when you do what makes you happy and it's also making other people happy, that is your purpose. That to me is the definition of success. Imagine you are 90 years old and you are thinking and reflecting back on your life. Is it going to be more successful in your opinion if you made tons of money and didn't really live your purpose, you were always stressed out, your relationships weren't the best, there was so much more healing that you needed to do to really live your best life. Would you prefer that? Or would you prefer to be exploring the world from the eyes of, I am going to be aligned with my purpose. Everything that I do makes me happy, fills me up, makes me feel so full and complete. Which life would you have rather lived? That is what you ask yourself. But overall, redefine what your perspective of success means. It doesn't always have to do with money. So how do I deal with an ex-best friend? We ended on good terms, but now she treats me poorly. Paola, so how you deal with this girl? Okay, what I'm gonna tell you, you decide if this works for you, but this is what works for me. When I've decided somebody is no longer a genuine loving friend for me, they are gone from my life. 
there is no room to even keep them in. What I teach to a lot of my clients is to have relationships in layers. So you have your close friends, you have your close group of girlfriends, you have maybe some good friends, and then maybe you have some acquaintances. What you can do if you are not ready to remove this friend completely, move her to an outer layer. You give her less time, you give her less energy. You do not want her to impact your life because God has removed her for a reason. There is a place that you are going that she cannot go with you if you want to reach that next level. But for me, when someone has treated me poorly, why am I going to keep them in my life? Fill your life with people that treat you so well because you are also treating them well. And then when someone comes along and they're treating you anything less than that, you are going to be so unattracted to it. I will never have a girlfriend again that makes me feel uneasy at all that gives me even the slightest disrespect or slightest mistreatment. Because I have so many amazing girlfriends, to me I would say, why am I going to waste my time? That's like dropping down a level. So if you can get ahead, if you can almost look into the future, that, that version of you that has these amazing, loving, supportive friends, why are you going to eliminate the possibility of meeting them to give this girl more time? So that's my recommendation for you, girl. Are you recording this for YouTube right now? Yes, my girl, I am. I need to live stream on YouTube. I only live stream on TikTok right now. I binge your videos. Ah, Savichi, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I think my favorite um, messages that you girls sent to me, Alexis, I just binge watched 10 of your videos. I just found you. I love when you girls tell me that. And I was telling my family the other day, I think it's so sweet. You guys will send me messages. Alexis, thank you so much for your content. Please remember to rest and take care of yourself too. I don't know why, it just, it really fills me up when you girls tell me things like that. My love language is acts of service. So I think when you're telling me to take care of myself, to me, it just really fills me up. So you girls mean so much more to me than you can imagine. Oh, thank you so much for the roses. Thank you guys for all of the gifts that you sent always. I know sometimes I don't always recognize it. There's a lot of comments that come in, but thank you so much every time you send me a gift. How do you protect yourself from other people's negative energies? How you protect yourself is you decide I'm no longer available for negative energy. And then when someone is showing up with negative energy for you, you give less of your time and you literally decide I'm not going to give any attention to this. So let's say that someone always calls and vents to you. When they do that, you let them know, I have work to do, or thank you for sharing this with me, but I don't have the capacity to listen to this. You telling yourself I'm not available to hold space for negative energy, your body has to align with that. If you've taken my course, you know why. It's because of confirmation bias. Your body has to follow what it believes. If you don't believe that you're available for negative energy, your body is no longer going to accept it. Oh my gosh! Tiffany, I watch your videos like school, notebook and pen ready. I'm soaking it in. Tiffany, I love you, girl. That is so sweet. <laughs> okay. Aw, you've definitely re-sparked my healing journey. Yay, Lisa! I'm so happy! Hi, Alexis. How can you become your full potential? Ooh, what a good question. And you know what? This is gonna have to be a whole other video in itself. How you live in your full potential Number one, you decide you get to. You get to live in your full potential. Give yourself permission to do it and watch everything else align. The next step for you to do is build your self-integrity. And I talk about this in my video. Oh, I forget what it's called, but it's something about confidence. My hair is straightened in it. Go and watch that video because I talk about that internal integrity, meaning every decision that you make from now on aligns with the best version of yourself. What you eat for breakfast, what time you wake up in the morning. Are you going to pick up that piece of trash on the floor in your room or are you going to walk over it? Choose to live as the best version of yourself would. That is how you access your full potential. The more that you're in your feminine energy, the easier that becomes because you're at this very high vibration. You're so connected to your body, to your passions. You're so full of life that choosing to be that best version of yourself becomes so much easier. And that is how you do it. All right, my girls, I don't want to leave you, but I will be back with another live stream very, very soon. Oh, your smile enlightens us. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you girls are so welcome. My girl that won the giveaway, congratulations. I'm going to message you very, very soon. And please remember, if you want to join the course, now is the time to do it. Of course, it's never too late, but I want you girls to have the deal if you can get that. Thank you girls so much for showing up, giving me your time and your energy today. I love, love talking with you, and I will see you very soon. Bye.